Hello, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. So here, took a look at the Vizio all-in-one PC. Uh, we're going to take a look at some of the accessories here that come with the device, and we're going to look at some of the ports as well. For now, you can see that this is a uh, very bright and very uh, sharp display. Right here, it's running the Vizio uh, homepage with uh, support that you can get to just by pressing this button right here. And uh, you can get to this screen as well to just show different apps that you don't have the device because it comes with essentially a uh, clean version of Windows right out of the box and uh, you can download the things you need from here like Netflix, Voodoo, and Rhapsody. We're going to start by looking at uh, this device. Now this is a wireless keyboard as you can see. Uh, what you're doing with this device is connecting to the uh, PC wirelessly without any sort of uh, extra connection process. This happens automatically right out of the box. You have a, a very clean display, uh, clean layout here. The keys are rather wide, it's easy to type with, and it's all standard, like sort of great. You can do uh, play, you know, fast forward, rewind, those sort of things. Uh, insert, uh, you can take uh, screenshots there, delete, you know, change the brightness of your screen, and again, get to that Vizio uh, homepage right from there. Now, this device is sort of like soft plastic on the bottom top is plastic as well. Looks to be metal but it is plastic indeed. This part is metal and it has uh, you know speakers underneath and uh, you know this is metal as well. So most of this is metal, most of these things are plastic. You got also a uh, touchpad here. Now this thing you can uh, use with uh, several gestures that come out of the box. Uh, you're gonna get updates to this throughout the, pro throughout the uh, time you own the device. Uh, the way you click on here is through these two little guys. Now if you want to right click you'll end up clicking like that and left like that. You won't be doing it like that, you'll be doing it like this. And that's how it works. Now this is a sort of remote control you can use to use some of the TV functions. It also controls your sound and uh, your screen volume like that. Good stuff. Now this machine uh, the machine bits, like the, you know, the hard drive and all that stuff, are contained in the bottom here. Uh, this cord that goes out here connects to this, which is just the subwoofer. The subwoofer also contains your power supply, so that's why we're connected to it automatically. You need this to be working with this, otherwise you don't have power. But just plugs, plugs into here. You get an extension cord if you want to make this much longer and go down your on the floor if you want. And then this goes out to power like that. Uh, once again, underneath there's two speakers right there. You can't really see them. On the side here you have a, a SD card reader, headphone, USB 3.0, just one of them on the side, and then the power button. The power button lights up, by the way, as well. It's pretty heavy here. You can go in the back. You have an eSATA, uh, three more USB 3.0, Ethernet, and this is your power. Again, that goes out to the subwoofer, and then you got two HDMI inputs. So you're able to put in your gaming system or your cable or whatever you want. This device also works uh, as a display without needing to turn the PC on. That's so that you can run, you know, things like what we just mentioned here without needing to turn it on at all. The back of the device looks rather nice as well. And this little thing is so that you can hook it up to uh, a secure a little clip there, you know, connect it to your uh, desk there. And then this is nice for, you know, adjusting your display. This is sort of loose. But, you know, put it anywhere you want it, and you don't have to touch it again. Looks nice. Check out the rest of the review.